My name is Luis Martinez, and I'm the owner and driver of El Patron Small Tire 69 Nova. I'm originally from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Grew up there for about 25, 26 years and then migrated over to the Baltimore, Maryland area. I've been involved in racing all my life. It started off with my dad, basically tinkering with his cars. I started about three years old, went to the tracks with him. My dad was a bracket racer, so that's how I got involved in it. I started drag racing when I was 16, as soon as I got my license race my dad's cars and things like that. He got rid of everything, sold everything. So I got involved in drifting with uh, Brad Henninger of PSR Performance. I was introduced to Lewis uh, through a friend, his name's Dan. Uh, at the time I was drifting like semi-professionally. I was kind of like, basically I had just gotten my Formula D license. Uh, I was introduced to Lewis because Lewis wanted to create a team and drive in FD. We did that for many years. We did uh, Formula Drift Pro Championship. We sold everything, and I got back into drag racing when I was able to afford to do so. So for us, getting back into drag racing, it kind of made sense. Lewis was always very you know, into drag racing. He'd always followed it. Myself, uh, coming out of high school, I actually worked on a top fuel drag team. I never lost uh, interest in drag racing. I just couldn't afford to do it. Drag racing is very expensive. And, and to do it at a competitive level. So it, it was just the right time to get back into it. You know, my finances were in order. For Lewis, you know, he had wanted to pursue building the car uh, that he has now, the Nova. He had been building it with his dad for, I think like three years, something like that. I don't even know exactly the exact amount. So I knew one day that I would get back into the driver's seat and drive. So the car I drive currently, is a 1969 Chevy Nova. It started off as a street car. My dad, I believe he found it near my grandparents' house. Somebody just had it like in their yard or whatever. And when him and his dad were getting to where they were ready to fire up the Nova, he wanted me to come and get involved and go from there. Um, that was like an eye-opening thing. Like basically it opened a whole door for him. And the car, the motor and the chassis had 70,000 original miles. So it stayed a streetcar for a very, very long time. Then eventually my dad was like, hey, I wanna make a drag car out of this. And he wanted to do a turbo on a 350 engine because it had a 350 at the time. And I was like, that's stupid. Like nobody does that. So I told him, let's put an LS in it. Basically when Lewis came to me with the Nova, it was like, for the most part together, uh, him and his dad had put together a stock bottom end 5.3 LS, very basic, you know, run of the mill build. I see a lot of them like that. Long story short, this streetcar project turned into this massive car behind me right now. It, it just got out of hand, basically. It was only supposed to be like a 800 horsepower streetcar, and now it's a seven second, you know, quarter mile car or whatever. We put it on the dyno and I started kind of running through all of our stuff and the dyno is always one of those things where you find all your little issues. It was an eye-opening event for me because I had never had a motor come apart like that on the dyno before. The way it transitioned is was pretty crazy what it is now. So the name of the car is El Patron, and in English that means the boss. So the reason why it's named El Patron is because I own a couple different companies and I wanted something to match my personality. I figured, you know, why not the boss? And the fact that, you know, I'm going to wipe the floor with a lot of my competition next year. 
The biggest challenge so far with this car is putting the power to the ground. So we kind of worked through a lot of the little problems that we were having last season. Going into this season, you know, basically we were kind of looking at, obviously coronavirus really like slowed us up with being able to get on track with some of the stuff. So we weren't able to get the car out until July. When we got it out, you know, first thing we were noticing is we were having some traction issues, getting the suspension to work with the way we were hitting it with power. It's a, it's a leaf spring car. So I guess you can say it's kind of old school style suspension. So putting, you know, 1400 horsepower to the ground is very difficult. So that's the struggle we've been having or the most struggle we've been having with the car is trying to get all the power down and get it down the track in a smooth manner. My biggest goal for 2020 is to run a mid four second pass. That's all. I'm not really concerned about winning this season per se. We're doing a lot of testing and things like that. I really wanted to see this car before we changed the motor out. I wanted to see it go into the fours and we weren't far away, but you know, we never really got to push it. So hopefully I'll get to push it a lot further when we got to when we put this motor into the new car. And that's what, you know, I'm kind of really looking forward to as we get into next season. Uh, the, la the best pass the car has had was last year, actually in 2019. Uh, it ran, uh, we were running quarter mile at, the, at that time and it ran up. 885 at 154 miles an hour and we weren't even pushing the car at, at all really that was just and it had the wrong converter had the wrong cam you know it had like stock style uh, suspension in it 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 just it was a i don't know a, a bag of dicks pretty much so so basically you know we made a lot of changes to this car over the winter one of the things that is if you've been following lewis at all is the car used to be yellow we hated it, <laughs> we, both of us did. Uh, and because of that, we actually repainted the car here at the shop. But he picked this color, we painted it, he went black on the wheels, and honestly, once we got it all said and done, I was like, you know, it looks a lot better than I was expecting. I'm really happy with the way the car came out. We did a lot of other little stuff uh, as far as the engine goes and such like that. Uh, we've just been, you know, fighting suspension issues, fighting transmission issues things like that, you know, some things that were kind of out of our control, really. Having that team really brings this whole process or whole program together. Because if I didn't have the team, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do uh, with with the partners that support us and the, and the car. 2021, we're gonna come out swinging, try to compete at these big events, especially down south, but for this year, we just want to do proper testing and make sure the car goes down straight, goes down fast. Uh, mid four second, uh, eighth mile pass is what we're trying to go for.